CD. I'm looking for 2000 It could be the cash to close. It could be the POCs. It could be the earnest money deposit. If all of those equal up to 2000 I'm good. If they don't equal 2000 I am contacting the loan officer to say, you're short $150. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Principal reduction, whatever. The buyer cannot receive any money back at close. Nothing. Not even a penny. Nothing. Mm -hmm. That cash to close can either show zero or it has to show that buyer bringing something, but I got to see that 2000 on there. I'm looking at the closing date. I'm looking at the city's loan amount to make sure everything is correct on there. But I get the city's CD. Same thing. Is our loan amount correct? Is our net amount correct? Our two closing costs should be on there. We only have two. And right now, our closing costs total $138.50. I'm going to tell you right now to all the loan officers. If the title company charges for any other fees, I'm already asking you to cover those on your CD. In an email, I'm already asking you. If you can cover them, you cover them. If you can't, you can't, and the title company has to eat it. But the city's CD will only show those two costs, okay? Once I have confirmed, reviewed, approved the city's CD, I would prove the lender CD. If there's bond involved, HHF, they have a CD or a HUD, I'm getting that one as well. Okay? I'm putting the wire packet together. I've approved it. This is where the five days kick in. So once I have approved it, I then give it to, turn yours around, my manager. <laughs> The manager needs to review that packet and sign off on it. The manager gives that packet back to me and then it's going to our director. Because the director also needs to review the packet and sign off on it. Then it's going to go to the revenue and finance accountant. <laughs> she's got to start setting some things up in the computer, but before she can do that, it has to go to her supervisor to okay. approve and sign off on it. Then it's got to go to the chief accountant. And then it's got to go back to the accountant to get it set up in the system for money to get to the title company for the closing. Now just keep in mind, I and the manager are at our location off of Lemon Street, close to West Shore Mall, okay? Everybody else is in downtown Tampa. So I'm either trying to scan and email things to people, and still at some point I'm leaving Lemon Street to get to downtown to make sure it gets to the right people so money gets to the title company and everybody can get paid. And people can get their house. You understand what I'm saying? So now you think about if anybody is out on vacation or out of the office or at a meeting off-site, depending on what's happening, I'm trying to contact the chief accountant to say, hey, the manager and the director are out of state. Mm -hmm. Who else can I get to sign for them? It might be the chief financial officer, who you don't even see up here right now. He might have to sign off on it. He might say he might have to get signatures after closing, but I need something in writing. Five business days gives us enough time if any hiccup are happening with any of these people to get some things rearranged to make sure we have money at the close. Okay? Thank you all. <laughs>